Hey guys, today I'm showing you the RF Explorer by Seed Studios, three E's on that. Now this is a pretty cool device, $150 on Amazon. You can get a very self-contained unit, big long antenna, and what this is going to let you do is go into a room and find out what your frequencies and interference are before you even perform a scan. So let me start here by showing you the screen uh, for what it's worth. Uh, it shows a pretty small range on it, and you can hit these left and right keys to cycle through your spectrum and find your offending frequencies. Um, above you see the peaks, and minus 70 is decibels of gain. That's power, not sound. And uh, minus 70 is really low. When I turn on some transmitters here, you're going to see that... Uh, they're going to come in much stronger, like minus 26. Um, if you press up and down, you can actually change the scale of this graph. So if you're looking at some really hot frequencies, you can see those. Or if you're trying to expand these, these peaks of the lower interference, you can also do that. So I'm going to pop over here, where I have my Sennheiser LAV transmitter, set to 542 200. This is just the last frequencies I used. And you should always be scanning before a gig if you have time. Um, over here is my handheld transmitter. Set to, hopefully it focuses, 644, 550. You'll just have to trust me. Okay, so I'm going to go back over to the RF Explorer screen here. We're sitting really close to these things. So we will have no problem pop through here, oh, well, we can already see we have a problem. This is a big peak, so peaking at minus 11 here. So that is our lav transmitter. And there's a good deal of interference around. Um, if you get the two antennas really close to each other, you're going to get interference. So I'm just popping forward here in the frequency spectrum. This covers from 240 to 960 megahertz. So. It. This one's looking a little less crazy, 644, 544. It's at uh, 43 decibels of gain, but you'll see if I pull this antenna over and I put it right next to the transmitter, it pops up to 14. Um, so that's definitely what we're looking at now. Um, it may not be as obvious when you go into a room um, where the interference is going to be, and of course this is kind of well, a very useful tool to have on its own, it would be a lot better if you could see the entire uh, frequency spectrum. So let's pop over to our PC here, where I'm going to boot up the Touchstone software that is free online and supports this model. Now, uh, when you turn this on, the screen on the RF Explorer goes off. And we take a minute to boot up here. What this is going to let you do is see the whole spectrum, as well as, uh, you know, take some pictures of it if you wanted to. This is really useful when you go into a hotel ballroom, and there's, you know, there might be other events going on. So this is set currently from 470 to 600. And so we're just going to press start here. And what we see, it starts tracing out our entire frequency spectrum. Now this is actually only going to cover the one mic. We'd have to open up the uh, range here to 700, but you could open it all the way from 240 to 960 if you wanted. For this example, you can very clearly see uh, where our mic is sitting, our one lavalier, and the interference around it as well. So uh, be below it, you can see what they call a waterfall, which is typically called a heat map. It lines up with the graph, and as you let this scan over and over couple times, it's going to tell you where the densest interference is. So I would recommend if you want to get one of these, set it up, let it run. When you walk into a venue and set up your gear, by the time you're done, you're going to have a really good map 
of all the transient frequencies going on over the course of a half an hour, um, which, you know, microphones are turned on and off over that time. So it'll give you a pretty good idea of what frequencies are being used. You could also take a walk around the room if you have a, you know, a laptop or a tablet that this is hooked up to. So really cool tool here. Again, the RF Explorer. Looks like this, about the size of your cell phone. It also comes with in Wi-Fi and 3G, 4G um, modes in case that's something you're interested in scanning for. Seed Studio. I got mine on Amazon, $150. Thanks, guys.